Hi everybody, it's Katie. Today is day 113 of the Happy Home Paradise Nico Challenge. For more information about custom patterns I use, social media links, or details on the Nico Challenge, check out the description below. Today's villager is Wendy, who asks for a warm winter den. This villager was specifically requested by Wendy, so shout out to her in the chat. I am really excited to be working on a fun winter build and decided to work on this plot here in the winter season. I really think that Wendy loves pastel colors and really cute vibes, but as I started putting her house together, I developed the strangest storyline. So you see, I think Wendy he loves garage sales and any kind of flea market or sell that she can get to and she spends a lot of her days visiting and shopping for very odd items. When Wendy finds something that she loves, she brings it home and she gives it a place in her life so that it becomes something special. She's not a hoarder so much as she just finds value in items that she feels like have been forgotten by other people and likes to make them friends in her life. While I was working on her home, a lot of this stuff is really put down specifically with this in mind. So I tried to include the strangest variety of items so that it looked a lot like Wendy had connected to things that maybe the rest of us wouldn't have connected to. This idea of having Wendy be an absolute expert at garage sales really came about as I was doing the outside of her house. So by the time I went inside, it was a lot easier to design and put together a really eclectic variety of items. I really wanted a couple big, beautiful windows that looked out onto the snow outside. I don't know why I was just kind of in the mood for that, but the rest of the room was really focused on the most random items I could find. If at all possible, I made sure that the furniture didn't match and did try and stick with a little bit more of the cuter pink tones whenever I could. I love Wendy as a villager. I think she's pretty amazing and very underrated in the Animal Crossing community, and I had a lot of fun putting her house together. Something about her just makes me think she's super friendly and definitely a sweetheart. Let's check out Wendy's final build. I think Wendy gets together with some of her best friends every single Friday and Saturday to go check out all the brand new sales. And then every once in a while, of course, she hosts a sale of her own. I think Wendy has become absolutely brilliant at turning items around and is able to make a pretty good living by buying and selling items. She probably rocks one of the coolest eBay accounts ever. With that, I've completed day 113. At this point, I have finished 99 villagers and have 250 more days to go to complete this challenge. I hope you found something useful here and continue creating in this game. Until next time, have the best Animal Crossing day.